Welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we'll dive into the captain world of magical spells. Today, we'll be uncovering the secrets of a remarkable utility-based spell set rooted in the enchanting lore of ice. This spell set not only grants you control over the battlefield, but also possesses the ability to unleash decent damage when used properly. So let's not waste any time and embark on an enchanting journey exploring the best techniques to harness the full potential of these icy incantations. Ice Sheet is a lore of ice spell that costs 4 winds of magic. That is a hex of area. An area of a hex weakens the enemy making them easier to slay. What it does is reduces your speed by 25% and your charge speed by 25% for the enemy. The range is 200 meters to cast it. The effect range after cast it is 55 meters. Duration is 17 seconds. The cooldown is 27 seconds. Affected units, affected enemies in range. All and affected units if grounded, so this does not work on flying units. This spell is most effective at the beginning of a battle. Its purpose is to slow down the enemy, giving your missile units more time to fire additional volleys. Avoid casting the spell directly on enemies, as they will already be halfway through the circle by the time it takes effect. Only use the spell when enemies are within range of your missile units or when you need to reposition your troops for a more advantageous engagement. During the battle, it can also be used defensively to halt cab charges on your flanks or from behind, allowing your units to intercept them more effectively. Additionally, the spell can prevent enemies from escaping, granting your units more opportunity to gain experience from kills. Ice Maiden's Kiss is a 6 cost Winds of Magic Lore of Ice Breath spell. The damage per second is 18, the duration is 2 seconds, has a radius of 12 meters, and the movement speed that it travels is 24 meters per second. And on contact, you get Frostbite, which reduces your speed by 30%. It also affects only grounded units, so it won't attack air. And it's a short, wide, expanding, tear-shaped attack. Now, if you overcast it, it makes it double as strong for 36 damage per second. As well as, um, it gives you a miscast chance of 50%. Which means you can damage yourself by casting the spell by 50%. Introducing the Ice Maiden's Kiss spell for the battlefield. While it lacks armor-piercing capabilities, it offers incredible versatility. Watch as it slows down enemy infantry by 30%, granting you the opportunity to unleash multiple volleys of arrows or reposition strategically. It's perfect for countering charging infantry, minimizing the damage you receive as shown in the video compared to the other side where the spell is not used. Moreover, when your troops are engaged in melee, this spell becomes invaluable, turning your enemies into easy targets. Crossblades is a 7 Winds of Magic cost Lore of Ice spell for Augments. Its imbuement is Magical Attacks, Base Weapon Damage plus 25%, Armor Piercing Weapon Damage plus 25%, and Melee Attack plus 24. The range is 200 meters, the duration is 26 seconds, and the cooldown is 43 seconds. Affected Units is Affected Allies in range, max 1. Now, if you overcast it, it has a greater effect on melee damage and increased armor piercing damage. As you can see, it's 50%, 50%, and 24 melee attack. With a miscast chance of 50%, meaning that you have a 50% chance of damage your spell while casting it. Crossblades can turn the tide of battle in your favor, transforming a losing fight into a victorious one. They pack a powerful punch, boosting your damage output and giving a much needed edge to your units. When facing demons, these blades work wonders by providing a magical imbuement that negates their physical resistance. This means you can deal devastating damage to demons and ethereal units. It's a game changer that helps you conquer your foes faster and support your entire army. Death Frost is a 12 cost Winds of Magic, Lore of Ice direct damage spell. Damage per second, 33 through 67 damage. Range is 100 meters. Duration is 20 seconds. The cooldown is 38 seconds. Affected units, affected enemies in range, max 1. But the damage to combatants, strong versus character. Now, if you overcast this, it will become extended cast range, which means you can cast it at 300 meters away versus 100. So you can use this to your advantage. Now it is 15 wins when you overcast. Introducing Death Frost, a powerful spell akin to Spirit Leech, designed to take down enemy lords and heroes with unstoppable direct damage. When facing a tough battle, this spell is your go-to choice for targeting these high-value targets. While it can also be used against single entity units, its true potential shines when used against lords and heroes. By sniping these key figures, Death Frost has the ability to shift the balance of leadership in your favor, effectively turning the tide of the battle. 
Crystal Sanctuary is a 12 cost Lore of Ice Winds of Magic spell or augmentation. It gives you damage resistance plus 60%, range 200 meters, duration 35 seconds, cooldown 50 seconds, and it affects all allies in range max 1. Now when you overcast, it becomes 22 Winds of Magic, and it just added an effect area. So now affects alleys in range all, which effects range is 35 meters. The Crystal Sanctuary spell is a costly yet crucial ability to use in dire situations. It should be reserved for emergencies, such as when your lord is under imminent threat or when a unit is in disadvantage in combat and needs an extra survivability to hold the line. Remember that while the spell is active, your unit is unable to move. Additionally, it can be a valuable asset when facing two enemy units with only one of your own. The Heart of Winter is a 24 cost Winds of Magic Lore of Ice spell that focuses on direct damage in an area. The Heart of Winter Tier 1 does damage per second 25 through 50. Heart of Winter Tier 2 for 8 seconds does damage per second 50 through 100. And it makes them lose speed minus 25%. Our Winter Tier 3 does damage per second 75 through 150 and makes them lose their speed of 40%. And Hard Winter Tier 4 is 8 seconds and a damage per second is 100 through 200 and makes them lose 60% of their speed. The range is 100 meters, the effect range is 30 meters, the duration is 32 seconds throughout the tiers, and the cooldown is 54 seconds, affects enemies in range all. Strong versus 25 men unit or above. Now for Overcast, the spell now costs 28. It makes the damage per second in the beginning 37 through 75. The second tier does 75 through 150 and 25% movement speed loss. The third tier is 112 through 225 and 40% movement speed loss. And the Heart of Winter upgrade tier 4 still 8 seconds does 150 through 300 and does minus 60% speed, so increased damage. The Heart of Winter is a powerful spell that inflicts direct damage and slows down enemies in phases in an area. Although it has a high cost, it proves most effective when used on units approaching your front line, hindering their charge and preventing easy escape. Additionally, it allows for more arrow volleys and constant damage output. While infantry is the ideal target, it can be used against monsters and cavalry with reduced effectiveness due to their ability to quickly leave the spell's area of effect. Notably, this spell does not harm friendly units. Use it strategically to deal significant damage to clustered infantry, turn the tide of battle, and provide support to other units. In this exciting battle, we delve into the captaining world of ice spells and their remarkable synergy in achieving battlefield supremacy. Witness how these enchanting powers can be harnessed to their fullest potential, minimizing losses and securing victory unlike anything possible without magic. Stay tuned as we reveal the staggering consequences of foregoing magic altogether. Prepare to be enthralled by the secrets of the lore of ice.
This is the same battle fought, but with no magic use at all, and you can see the losses and the consequences are dire. Behold, the captain of Lore of Ice, an enchanting journey that shall illuminate your understanding of its mystical spells and their profound efficiency. May this newfound knowledge empower you to wield these arcane forces with unparalleled finesse. Together, we have embarked upon a path of enlightenment, and as we part ways for now, rest assured that our destinies shall intertwine once again in the boundless expanse of time. Until that glorious reunion in the future, my fellow seekers of wisdom, fare thee well.